Welcome, and follow me as a Xiaomi 13 Lite, and today I will show you how you can record screen on this device. Now to get started, simply pull down your notifications, and on one of the pages, I should see one of the toggles should be a screen recorder. Now for me, it's on a second page right over here, as you can see, screen recorder. So once you see it, uh, you can either tap on it to start recording right away, or you can hold it. And this will take you to the settings where you can number one get a glance on how it's set by default and number two if something doesn't fit your needs simply change it now i would recommend resolution to be set to 1080p uh, so the highest one right here and if it is that's great uh video quality uh, if it's 16 megabits that's good uh, anything above that i think is just a overkill uh, it will take more storage on your device uh, but give you basically no visual difference and just to kind of uh, explain how the megabits work and what the effect is so it's basically the bandwidth of the recording and the lower you set it uh, when you're panning around or just having content that moves around uh, you'll probably see in certain occasions uh, it's kind of like a square pixelations that disappear after the image has been still for like a couple of seconds uh, this was this is most apparent in for instance uh, games so if you see such a thing you can increase it now, now the way the increase works if we just consider this to be uh, one to one or because it is one to one so if you select it to be one as an example and that's going to be basically one megabyte per second that's literally how much storage it's going to be taking, right? And if you increase it by 16 times to 16, that's gonna mean that it's gonna be taking 16 times more of your storage. Now, 16 megabits per second, I think is basically the sweet spot. The video looks good, crisp, uh, but it's not gonna be taking stupid amount of space. Anything above that, uh, for instance, like 32, you could push it to that, uh, but I don't think you're gonna see much improvement and you will be taking double the storage at that point uh, compared to the 16 and anything above that like 50, 100 and 105 is just literally redundant. In terms of frame rates, I recommend selecting it to be 30. Uh, this will give you a nicer frame rate over the 24 but in both cases these are fairly low frame rates and unfortunately we don't have anything higher even though the display uh, is 120 Hz you can only record at a quarter of that. So, select it to be the highest, which is 30, and yeah. Now, rest of the things uh, like the orientation, uh, sound source, and so on, those are preferential, so select them to fit your exact needs. And once you have done so, you can close this, and then let's find our toggle once more. This time around, we're gonna tap on it. It brings up this overlay, giving us uh, four different options. Number one would be the red circle, that's record. Folder will quickly take you to uh, view all the screen recordings that you have captured over the time. Then the gear, obviously that's just the settings, which we already visited. And then last thing is closing this overlay. So I'm gonna now record my screen. From here you can tap on the overlay, select square, and this will automatically save your screen recording to your photos application, or gallery, as it's actually called right here. So I'm gonna open it up, and you can see that it pops up right here at the front, uh, under well, the newest thing today. But later on, if you want to come back to one of your screen recordings down the line, you can simply select albums and in here we should have a screenshot and a screen recordings album and obviously this will contain screenshots and screen recordings. It is being divided into these two categories and here so you can see we have screenshots then on the side we have screen recordings and here we can tap on it to view our screen recording. So there we go, just a quick preview. Now, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.